Well, for over a year, there have been heavy public debate over a pair of controversial campgrounds in Sussex County. Now, the long-awaited decisions have been made. Our Sussex County Bureau Chief Evan Koslov was at the meeting today. He joins us now outside the county building, and Evan, people were passionate about this vote. Yeah, Paul, Paul, there was clapping, there was booing, and there was even heckling at times inside of this room. And honestly, nobody but those five council members knew how the vote was going to go. But in the end, there was an approval and a, de and a denial for those campgrounds in Sussex County. Max capacity here at Council Chambers is 129, and on Tuesday, they were pretty darn close. More than 100 people crammed into the room to hear the fate of two campground applications. First up, Massey's Landing Campground in Long Neck was approved. He's Neighbor to the site, Bob Malone, was not too happy. Ended. It's completely and totally backed up, and people are parking the trail or something down the road. It will block the campground. Before the developer, the decision was music to their ears. They didn't speak on camera, but developer Linford Fawcett said he was thankful and now looking forward to discuss the next step in development. But vote number two had a very different result. The RV park right here off of Love Creek by a vote of three to two was denied. Congestion would be unbelievable. Neighbor Bill Baydala led the charge against the campground and says they dodged a bullet with what he says would have been a traffic nightmare. We're feeling like we've, we've had a, our efforts have shown success uh, and we're looking forward to you know, perhaps this area being redefined in a different way than the developer wanted to do. But of course, with every winner comes a loser. In a statement, developer Jack Lingo said, quote, we are very disappointed with County Council's decision, adding that they are now going back to the drawing board to figure out what's next. <laughs> Two votes, big impacts in Sussex County. Now, I did talk to the developer for the Love Creek location. They say right now they're just weighing their options, trying to decide what will be their next move. Steve. Evan, you found out a lot of their choices will be dictated by their current zoning. Right now, that's a general residential district. Yeah, and that zoning designation could be used for a lot of structures, but one thing that was talked about inside that meeting was affordable housing. I did talk to the developer. They say that they are open to that idea. Sussex County, Evan Kozlov, WBOC News in Georgetown.